Okay, so technically what I'm about to show you is a Lightroom tip, but it would also work in Photoshop's camera raw. Right. All right, so here we are. So this is our image. And what I want to do in this image is I want to work on or affect and, and, and the roof of this chapel. Now, you could say, well, like if you want to change color, like couldn't you go to the HSL color? No, I don't want to change the color. I want to make it brighter or darker, add textures, something just to the roof, just to the roof itself. So this is a masking job, and I have a great way for you to do this. So go click on the masking icon up there at the top. And then down here in the Add New Mask panel, we're going to go down here to Range, and we're going to choose Color Range. And so what this does is this is going to build a mask based on color. All right, so you can say, I, I want a particular color. Like if you wanted to hmm. just mask those mountains in the back, right? Because you can select sky, you can select background. There's nothing that says select mountains or select roof. Yeah, right. <laughs> those things don't exist. So we're going to use this instead. We're gonna Not choose, yet, at least. We're going to choose color range, all right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Now, you can just click to build a mask. But I find that it works better if you click, hold, and drag out a little selection, right? So like you can click and drag out a little. Do you see that little square I'm dragging? Mm -hmm. So it's not just selecting one color. Because if you look at the roof, there's some parts that are a little darker and a little yeah, brighter like and stuff, right? Shades. So drag it out. Now, look what a great job it did in selecting the roof on both sides and the top. But as you'll notice, it also selected a little bit of the parking lot. Hmm. And a little bit of the sky up there. And a right. little bit of the sky. How do you get rid of that? Well, once you do that, a new panel appears over here called Color Range. And you have a refined slider. Dragging to the right uh -huh. would add more into it. Dragging to the left will take those extra areas out. And now all you have left is the roof. So now you could go in and just affect just that without affecting the parking lot or you affecting the, the other stuff. <laughs> So there you very go. Cool. Isn't that cool? I yeah, mean, it's a very awesome. simple trick, and it yeah. works both. And you could add, you know, texture, very whatever effective. you want to do. And of course, you could change color if you wanted to. You know, obviously, you could do that. But we're not going to do that for this one. I'm but. telling you, with that new new masking features inside of Lightroom, uh, you hardly hardly have to go to Photoshop. Yeah, I got to tell you, e even in Photoshop, you, you just it's so much better. Like I wound up doing most of my selection work now inside of Camera Raw. Yes. And you know, there is select sky. You don't have to be in Camera Raw and Photoshop. Yeah, like There's it's in select the drop sky. Down. And yeah. But you're limited. It just puts a selection around it. No, this this way is, this, ooh, is nice. So good. So good. So, good. so anyway, that's